Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will show you another great update of Renovate Ice ROM. I'm talking about the 5.0 version of it. If you've watched my previous videos of Renovate ROM, you would already know that it's my favorite ROM, scoring an outstanding perfect Wicked score of 5 out of 5. Now the question is if this 5.0 update will get the 5.0 score at the end of it. Stay tuned and you'll find out. Right now. On the screen you can see the changes and new features implemented in this version of Renovate ROM. It is completely rebased on later Samsung firmware QH3, of course with all the mods and tweaks ported from previous versions. 4.0, 3.0, 2.0, even 1.0. I have a video on which one of them you can check the 4.0 and 3.0 into the cut section. Some new features added are the ability to enable disable randomized pin number pad on lock screen, quick unlock toggle, long press menu to kill app or to open up options dialog and maybe the most important update full G930X support. That means not only this ROM can be flashed on Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus but also on the S7 and S7 Edge. Of course many little updates like the updated renovation kernel to QH3 source code were added in the ROM and ROM installer and we'll get to that in a second. Anyways this is Wicked and that means I'll do this ROM review in a wicked manner. If you don't know what a wicked manner is then you should be aware that I will tell you all the pros and cons of it. The kernel performance and battery life will be put to the test by running at the benchmark and also Asphalt Extreme Rally Edition when you can also see the frame rate just to make an idea on how the ROM handles gaming performance. At the end I will give it a wicked score based on all the features optimization options, ROM control app, performance, stability, bugs and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's get wicked. Okay, so as always, in order to install this ROM you'll need TWRP. If you haven't heard about TWRP and you want to install it, check the video in the card section. After you got it, go to install and choose Renovate ICE 5.0. A ROM installer will pop up. In there, I suggest you to wipe your device before installing a new ROM, but since I'm coming from previous 4.0 version of Renovate, I'll go with a dirty flash and see how it goes. In Aroma Installer, same settings and customization options like on any other previous versions. They added the ability to select whether you want to install the DEX app or not. Apart from that, everything remains the same. At the end of the installation, I recommend you not to reboot your device. It's safer to flash the latest firmware zip with the latest bootloader TWRP and modem to make sure you won't get into any boot loops if you have a really old firmware installed. The phone will auto reboot and uh, you'll have to wait between 5 to 10 minutes for the device to boot up. So my device booted up and uh, if you're wondering if the ROM comes by default in this state, the answer is no. It comes just like a normal Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus firmware. This is a custom theme of mine, you can also check it out in the card section to see how I did it. Let me show you the latest implemented updates of latest Renovate. 5.0 version. For that we'll need to dive into the Rise ROM controller. The first one is into the system UI buttons section and it's called long press back to kill and it does what it says, kill the running app while long pressing the back key or showing up options menu if it is disabled. Into the application section you can enable quick pin unlock so you won't have to press ok after you enter your pin every time on the lock screen. The device will automatically recognize it. Now into the Rise app there are other interesting features I covered in previous Renovate videos. If you want me to do a Rise app full walk true in the future make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe right down to my channel by far the feature I love the most is the dynamic navigation bar color. It just makes the infinity display look great in every app. Apart from that, same beautiful features and tweaks. The device is smooth, the latest updated kernel is awesome, but let's see if this version will improve the Antutu benchmark score 4.0 got, which was around 175k. Even though I don't give a damn on benchmarks these days, just for fun I'll run it and of course again it overpassed the previous score. Gaming performance as I told you will be checked from now using the integrated FPS counter. Asphalt Extreme went pretty well getting around 30 FPS with some under 30 sometimes but that's okay. I have to say it was not even close to perfection when the first version came out but every update things started to look nice, bugs were fixed, the development team was great and helpful. Wicked score? Well I think I should reinvent the scale for this ROM but nevertheless the 5.0 version of Renovate Ice gets again the 5 out of 5 perfect score. So I'm ending this review again in a wicked manner this is a ROM worth trying. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe right now to my channel. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.